हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टर्बो चार्जर कंस्ट्रक्शन इन टुडे वीडियो आई विल गिव यू द आईडिया अबाउट द टर्बो चार्जर हाउ डिफरेंट पार्ट आर फिटेड इन द टर्बो चार्जर एंड व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ईच पार्ट फॉर एग्जांपल द टर्बाइन डिक्स द इंपेलर एंड ईच एंड एवरी कंपोनेंट एंड हाउ the arrangement are made in today video we will learn about the fir tree we will learn about the lacing wire we will learn about the different type of attachment of the turbo charger also so after watching the video i guarantee that you will have a clear idea of turbo charger construction before starting the video i want to tell you that this is a part 6 of a turbo charger series before that i have talk about different component of turbo charger which are needed to have a clear idea about all this topic so please watch this video i will give it in my description box so let's begin the today video of turbo charger construction so first question is that what is the turbo charger so basically a turbo charger is a device in which we are using the exhaust gas to produce compressed air for combustion so basically how we are doing it we are dividing the turbo charger in two part the turbo charger is consist of two section gas side and air side so basically this is the gas side and this is the air side so let me give you a synopsis how it is been designed so this is a rotor this is a rotor this is the compressor side that is the air side here this is the filter the air is coming from here okay this is the inducer this is the impeller and this is the diffuser basically this compressor side is compressing the air which is taking the suction from the engine room blower okay the engine room is pressurized and the air is coming from there and it is getting compressed and it is been utilized for the combustion purpose after it is been cooled by the air cooler and it is stored in the scavenging space for combustion purpose but the energy to drive this compressor is been provided by this turbine this turbine is drive by the exhaust gas which is coming out from the exhaust valve and this exhaust gas as it is coming out it is passed through a nozzle and then it impinge on the turbine disc as it impinge it will rotate the turbine as it will rotate the turbine on the other end of the rotor the compressor is been attached which will also get rotated and because of the rotation the necessary speed required for compressing the air taking suction from the engine room is been compressed and made available for the combustion purpose so this is how basically whole turbo charger is been designed so if anybody tell you that what is a turbo charger so you know the answer but if anybody tell you to explain so you should explain this way sir it consists of two part gas side and air side basically the gas side is utilizing the exhaust gas to drive the turbine side and by the rotation of the turbine side the compressor side or the air side is taking the suction and providing the necessary compressed air now let's see each of the component now as you can see this is the air inlet in the air inlet there is a filter provided this filter which is provided is basically removing the dirt and dust which are present in the air and also is acting as a noise barrier 
after that the air is coming here and this is as you can see this is the inducer the main function of inducer is basically to reduce the resistance of the air flow and also to ensure the air is made available to the compressor i after that the air is coming from here and through the inducer means basically inducer is allowing the guidance of the compressed air flow over smoothly over the compressed blade so that it will get efficiently compressed okay so now the air is coming from here is getting compressed and after through a series of volute casing this as you can see and refuser it is converting the kinetic energy into the pressure energy okay so inducer is reducing the resistance of the air and allowing the smoothness of air flow over the compressor and after the air is compressed the kinetic energy which has been gained is been smoothly converted with the help of a diffuser and the volute casing arrangement to convert into a pressure form basically it has been observed with this compressor set arrangement the air which is been inlating at a one bar is been compressed around 3 to 4 bar so you can say 3 is to 1 ratio or 4 is to 1 ratio is basically obtained with the help of this compressor arrangement now let's see here on the turbine side this is the turbine disc okay now the exhaust gas which is coming from here is been gaining the energy means the pressure of that is been constant so the enthalpy by using the energy of enthalpy the velocity is been increased through this nozzle and it is getting impinge on this turbine disc the turbine disc as it is getting you can see the impingement direction is in axial direction so the turbine disc which are fitted in a turbocharger is axial type so if anybody say why the turbine disc in the turbocharger is axial in nature so you should say as the angle of impingement in the main engine type turbocharger is axial direction therefore it is in axial turbine we can say this is the axial type of turbine so as it is getting axially impinged it will rotate and as it will rotate it will give the necessary rpm for compression after the rotation the remaining exhaust will go up and again it is been utilized by the exhaust gas boiler for the steam generation for auxiliary purpose now apart from that you can see there is a lueval supply this turbocharger which i am showing you design is basically self independent type of lubricated turbocharger basically what is happening as you can see this is a independent lubrication side and this is the labyrinth gland one here one here and one also provided here so basically we will talk about the labyrinth seal and the lubrication part in the another series today we will concentrate on this and this part okay so let's see what i have written here it consists of a gas turbine of a single row turbine blade preceded by a single row nozzle blade drive a rotor which is attached to the impeller of a rotary compressor the rotor supported by bearing located in the cast iron casing which may be water cool or uncool okay one more thing i want to tell you as you can see nowadays the turbocharger are designed in such a way that they are uncool type earlier design turbocharger were cool type but now most of the turbocharger are uncool because to improve the energy efficiency conservation it is made in three section turbine disc turbine shaft and impeller shaft 
Okay. The impeller shaft is made up of authentic stainless steel, heat and corrosion resistance. Okay. This authentic stainless steel is basically the material of the impeller which is very important to induce to prevent corrosion. Okay. Individual blade are mounted axially into the slot in the disc. The blade rotor have a inverted for to shape or similar the blade are locked to prevent the axial movement. During service blade expand and also subject to centrifugal force both of which impose stress on the root. So now let's see very important thing. This is the blade or you can say a turbocharger arrangement of a main engine. This is a compressor side. See, this is the inducer. Okay. The air is coming from here. By the help of this inducer, it will get smoothly to this, this part, this vein. So that they can get compressed and available to the diffuser and volute casing. This is the function of inducer. Now, this is the turbine disc. Okay. Basically, what I want to show you is this arrangement. The turbine discs are inserted in this arrangement. You will get a clear picture here. You can see here, this is the turbine disc and this is a arrangement called inverted fir tree. Inverted fir tree because as you know, in snowy area, the Christmas tree you have seen, this type of arrangement is in provided as it is like an inverted Christmas tree, therefore it is called inverted fir tree. Now, one more thing you should see that it is being provided in this way because this design have a great advantage. First, it is very easy to fit and second, once fitted, it will have a good grip and it will have a good solid effect and it will prevent severe stress development. Because of that, the inverted fir tree arrangement is being provided. Now, one more thing I want to tell you that the contact phase, because of inverted fir tree arrangement, the contact phase is also enhanced. So, it also provides a good gripping force. Okay. Now, blade are push fit into the disc. What I have told you, basically this blade is what it is done. You can take out this blade and these are push fit. It means these are fitted, means pushed into the poetry arrangement and after as it rotate, it will provide more good grip. Because as you can see at present there is a small clearance is there but when it will heat up it will expand and as it will expand it will provide more good grip because of increase in contact surface area okay having wire pass through the hole in the blade and exert a friction dumping effect on vibration the lashing wire can pass through all blade in shorter section group of six blade. So basically, a lashing wire is provided like this. But this lashing wire is provided not continuous. Okay, you should see this lashing wire is provided in a section of six. Means if suppose there are severe type of blade, you can see if, suppose there are hundred blade. So on 6 blade the lashing wire will be provided again after that again 6 in a row means 6 in a series again 6 in a series not continuous it will not be continuous the main aim of the lashing wire is to prevent vibration of the blade while during the rotation okay the impeller is an aluminium alloy casting and is located on a rotor shaft by splint connection so why spin connection is provided this is the splint shaft 
okay the rotor is in provided of the compressor is in fitted on this spring shaft so that to prevent misalignment so what i mean is this this rotor the this rotor is provided with a spring connection so that the compressor is fitted correctly okay casing is made of cast iron on the gas side and aluminium alloy on the air side very important okay the gas inlet casing provide a housing for nozzle blade and located point location point for a bearing is very clear the air side casing is in two part the inlet casing provide a suction filter and a air side bearing the outlet casing has a volute shaped diffuser to convert kinetic energy to pressure energy already i have explained this part means basically this first part which is basically what is doing it is providing the air inlet and this is the second part and this is the first part of the turbine side and this is the second part is very clear nothing to explain now you can see here this is the inverted 40 arrangement for 1 2 3 4 5 like this is provided so and this is the lashing wire provided in a six in a section maximum now this diagram what i want to show you because you you can pause the video and you can draw this diagram because sometime in examination they want to show to draw the turbocharger diagram so by drawing this diagram you can show the basic component which you want to know okay now this is how the diffuser look like okay this is a diffuser pin the diffuser pin function is to smoothly guide the kinetic energy which is been gained by a compressor to the volute casing without any sufficient loss so that more amount of kinetic energy can be converted into a pressure form and no less losses can happen same this is the open end this is the close end this is called diffuser of a compressor now this is simple diagram as you can see this is the inducer this is the compressor the air will come from here it will get here and then it will coming out from there and through diffuser it will get to volute casing and then to the air cooler and then to the scavenge space here the exhaust gas will come here it will impinge on the blade and then it will be going out now this is a cutting section of a turbocharger basically this is the auxiliary turbocharger one more thing i want to tell you that in auxiliary turbocharger and in main turbocharger there is two difference first difference is that the axial turbine is used in main engine and radial turbine is used in a auxiliary engine if you want to know why it is used then you comment i will make the video on that and second is the bearing in auxiliary turbocharger the bearing are here is semi floating type or floating type but in main engine the bearing can be ball bearing the bearing can be sleeve type bearing and the bearing can also have other component and lubrication system which is provided in auxiliary engine turbocharger is basically a part of a main engine sum it doesn't have independent lubrication system is very rare means out of 100 it to 90% turbocharger will have the same lubrication system as that has been used by the same sum oil doing same sum oil of auxiliary engine but in main engine turbocharger the sum oil sometime is independent like as i have shown you in this diagram as you can see here 
the lubrication is independent means it doesn't depend upon the other system okay the oil is been having a oil here taking the oil from suction here and it is been fed up to the bearing this is a ball bearing provided okay ball bearing here ball bearing here and the oil is coming from here and to a gear pump it is being pressurized and it is impinged and this oil is been provided for a cooling the bearing which is getting heated up because of continuous rotation now and also providing lubrication now one more thing this oil is getting cooled by the cooling system now here the bearing will get cooled by the main engine the oil will come from here it will lubricate and it will go out okay so this is the cut section okay so which one is the compressor side this one is the compressor side and this one is the turbine side okay basically the turbine side will be air will be coming from here okay and as i have told you here as you can see the exhaust gas is coming from here it is impinging and coming out so same thing here there are two group you can see the exhaust gas is coming from here it will impinge on the blade and it will go out from here the same thing see now the fresh air will be coming from here and it is coming from here out so the air will be coming from here and getting compressed and will be getting out here so this is the bearing part and this is a thrust bearing and this is how the cut section of a auxiliary engine turbocharger look like so i hope in this video i have given you a clear idea that why a turbocharger how it is constructed and what are the importance of each part like inducer impeller diffuser turbine disc nozzle and how the gas is flowing okay if you have any doubt you can comment below i will give the answer and please friend please do subscribe my channel and please it is request to all of you all of you please share the video please because my main aim solely is to motivate and to spread the knowledge so that it will be easily available for everyone so that everybody get benefited so please if you like it hit the like button and please share and please do subscribe please do subscribe so that you encourage me to continue to make such type of video have a good day friend thank you